Hello and welcome to Webmanuals Tutorials. In this video I will be showing you the publishing step of the document. So after your document has been through the necessary steps of the workflow and eventually had the final approval from the authorities, your document is ready to be published. So from the document editor, we can move to the next step of our life cycle of our document, which is publish. So under Publish, this will show a recap of the revision name, date and issue name, which can be changed to publication by clicking on the revision name in the top left hand corner above each document page. The document can be made available by selecting Yes from the menu under Available. By selecting this option, the document will become visible to the readers upon publication. You can set how often readers should receive reminders for this document, or you can also set that they should not receive any at all. The transmittal letter and the signed approval can also be uploaded, so they will always be stored in relation to the specific revision under Revision Archive. In the bottom section of Publish, the summary displays all warnings for the document and indicates which pages the warnings can be found on. Note that it is only possible to publish a document with warnings upon confirmation that they can be ignored. You can publish the document by clicking on Publish. Next to Publish is a final step in the life cycle, which is Control. So under Control, we can check the user performance and check who is reading the documents. So user performance shows a list of users that the document has been assigned to. And this is whether the document has been read by the user or not. We will see how many reminders they have received and the date that they have read it, if applicable. The user performance can be displayed for all revisions or for specific ones. You can select a specific revision from the drop-down menu above the list. And by clicking on Actions, you can choose to export the user performance, print it, or send a reminder to all users that have not read the document. By clicking on Refresh, you update the user performance. Thank you for watching and see you soon for more Web Manuals tutorials.